Hey everyone, uh, today you're just gonna have to deal with uh, external mic audio. No, um, this kind of. I have no reason to use that uh, recording this video, so I'm just not gonna use it. So you're just gonna have to deal with this. Hopefully you can't hear that weird ringing I'm hearing in my room. It's kind of like an alarm clock. It sounds like it's coming from this side of the room, which is just a wall behind you. So like, I can't tell if that's a neighbor's phone alarm going off or what, but sorry if you can hear it, and I can't. Anyways, Spider-Man No Way Home is releasing in approximately three days. But since it's releasing in three days, and we haven't really gotten any good reference photos of either of the suits till like a couple days ago. I don't have any cosplay to show you guys for this movie. I know I said I was gonna try to, but you know, things came up and you know, these things cost money to do. What is that? Some hair on my computer, <laughs> cat hair. And we just didn't get any good reference photos for these costumes, so I was afraid to start these. And luckily I didn't start these because we actually have good looks now because of the PS5 game and you know we're just getting more screenshots from the movie. So in 2022 I will be completing those two cosplays along with some other Spider-Man stuff and maybe another cosplay but I'll get into more of that towards the end of the year when I do that video. Anyways, finally I can get to the point. <laughs> so in honor of Spider-Man No Way Home releasing in three days, I've decided to make the golden magical gauntlet we see in the movie. I don't know what this thing is called. None of us really do. For like months we've just been calling this the golden magical gauntlet of Spider-Man thing. We've seen it all over the Hot Toys figures. We've seen it on uh, the, we've seen it on promotional art. We've seen it uh, actually in the trailer, the second trailer we got. It's in there for like two frames on the black and gold suit. It looks cool. We're assuming that this is what he Spider-Man's gonna use to like capture all the multiverse men. Yeah, I made it. <laughs> I don't know what else to really say about this thing. Uh, uh, but let's get into how I s made this magical web-slinging gauntlet. Hey everyone, this is Editor Johnny here, um, currently editing this video. You see this footage? Like all this footage that like, you know, where I explain how I made the gauntlet? Well, it's unusable. It's unusable trash that I won't be using. So instead, you will have to deal with voice over me going over everything here. So, yeah. Thanks a lot, Past Johnny, you fucking idiot, not being able to explain things well. So, for the Magical Gauntlet 3D file, I chose the one from do3d.com. I purchased this on Black Friday, so I only got it for like 10 bucks, which is really really nice. I don't really like spending too much money on 3D files. I had to scale it down to about 78% to fit my forearm, and even that it still couldn't fit on the build plate on my Ender 3. So what I ended up having to do was I had to separate the files into three sections, like the top, middle, and end. And after printing them out, I glued them together just using some super glue. Now super glue isn't that strong when it comes to 3D parts because I've had 3D parts just break when only using super glue. And plus I had some 3D printing issues. You can clearly see here that, yeah, um, my 3D print got fucked when <laughs> trying to print out. See, there are a bunch of mistakes and, you know, I wish I could fix that. Uh, I could have reprinted them, but instead I decided to go a different route and try to salvage the print. I used epoxy sculpt which is this like clay like substance that hardens and I used it in the past to make uh, custom Funko Pops and I used it on here to fill in all the gaps that I could like the huge gaping gaps and uh, just to give the back some strength too. I. Uh, added some to the back uh, where the seams were just so it had some extra strength along with the glue. Then it was time to sand. I started sanding with a low grit sandpaper. I think it was like 120 grit. Then after the initial sanding I moved on to a 220 I believe it was grit sandpaper. Then I hit it with some sandable 
filler primer. Uh, I used this Krylon brand that just smelled terrible. I would recommend sticking with Rust-Oleum if you can find it, but I couldn't find any Rust-Oleum around my area, so I just went with Krylon. After the primer dries and I let it sit for a little bit, I started to sand it once more just to get all the excess filler primer off. And then after the filler primer, I did something new. I decided to go in with some Bondo Filler Spot Putty. Does wonderful with filling in uh, gaps. Um, this was my first time really using it. So it didn't turn out great. Not all the gaps were able to get filled. That sounded weird. But I just spread a lot of this all over the 3D print just so that it can be as smooth as possible. Here I am sanding everything I can possibly sand off to make it as smooth as I could possibly make it because I really want this to turn out well. And when I finished, uh, it, it didn't fill every spot like I said before and it just made a huge mess, but I'm glad I used it because it did smooth a lot of areas, just not the areas I was hoping it would fill in. Then for our last two steps, I painted the gauntlet black kind of as a primer for the gold paint and you know, the gold paint I used, I'm not a huge fan of the color. I wish it was a more of a yellow gold rather than like a beige gold, but it still looks good. And here it is, the finished magical gauntlet from Spider-Man No Way Home. I wish I was able to get these areas more uh, smooth and filled in, but I couldn't just because it was my first time using this stuff and I need to get this video out. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the process of me making the magical gauntlet. But yeah guys, that's how I made the magical gold gauntlet from Spider-Man No Way Home. And I made it just in time for the premiere. I'm not gonna show up in the premiere of the movie with this mask and this gauntlet on. That's, that's a little too ridiculous. I just wanna go in and enjoy the movie. I don't wanna have to sit there like this. But yeah, uh, at least I made something for the movie. Even though it's technically not finished, like I still have to do the bottom bands. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, me uh, explaining how I 3D printed and sanded and painted this golden gauntlet. Uh, like and subscribe. Um, yeah, and if you want to see this on a future cosplay uh, when I do the black and gold suit, um, comment down below. I guess, I don't know. I'm tired. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video.